Good morning, everyone. Um, I had some kind of experience the other day um, regarding, well, <laughs> the thought of dying. And it's something I, I kind of thought I wanted to share with you. So a few days ago, I was taking a horse out to get its feet trimmed. And one of the other male horses came in and charged the horse that I was uh, taking out. And I got pinned between the fence and the horse that was trying to run away. And then I fell down underneath the horse that was trying to run away and almost got trampled. Now that's just part of being around horses. But what I found interesting was what I was thinking the moment I went down. <laughs> so here I am underneath the horse going, oh, well, I guess this is it. <laughs> I guess it's the end of my life. I'm going to get stepped on, you know, I'm going to die right here. And you know, strangely enough, I've been dealing with the thought of death now for four years, going on five years. And it doesn't, it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. You know, I've, I've come to peace with the fact that we're all going to die at some point. And, you know, I'd rather go out dying, you know, doing something I enjoy than, than from the cancer anyway. But it was just, it was an interesting experience to, to, uh, to think that my death is there and not panic about it. It was, I was really strange. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a depressed person by any means. I'm I'm happy. I'm feeling better than I have in months. And, um, you know, but it was just a strange experience. And I guess I guess that's a good thing because, you know, now I'm not worrying about dying all the time. I st there's still things I need to do and I'm not ready to go yet. But, you know, not letting death control your every thought really does make a difference. I mean... I was mad at the horse, not the, the horse that charged us. I was mad at him. I was screaming, you mf -er, you know, an a-hole. And, <laughs> and uh, I was just not, not the horse that, that, that squished me. That wasn't his fault. He was just scared and trying to run away from the other mean horse. But um, also I ended up with a couple of bruises and a, a realization that I've, I think I fully have come to accept my situation. It took me some time. And I think a lot of people with stage four cancer it takes them a long time, if they ever do, to accept your situation and just live with it. And I think the experience proved to me that I'm I'm fully accepted that, yeah, I'm going to die eventually. You know, especially now that my cancer is her positive, there's a chance it could go to the brain. And when it when it goes to the brain, it's, it's it doesn't take long. Um, I, I, I've been seeing six months to a year with brain cancer. Once it, well, breast cancer in the brain because it's hard to treat. A lot of medicines don't go across the blood brain barrier. So, but that's, I'm not there. Hopefully I will never be there, but that is a reality that I now have to face. So, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm able to watch my kids grow up. You know, my son's going to, you know, be finishing his senior year in college, you know, in the next 12 months. And I, and I had cancer when he was in high school. So I never believed I could see my kids get that far. My daughter's, you know, she's getting her health together and she has some health issues and, the doctors are finally starting to figure it out. You know, it's not done yet, but I, I would really be happy to see that come to fruition before I go. To see her get her health back and then to be, you know, fully realized as an, as an adult. <clears throat> but um, it just, it was interesting to, to know that, you know, I'm not, I'm not scared of death. I don't, I think I'm more scared of getting hurt and then living with the pain than I am of actually dying. <laughs> I think that's the thing is like, you know, or, or hurting myself in a way like breaking my neck and then not being able to do anything. I would rather die than be unable to take care of myself. If it ever came to that, I would just say, like, do not resuscitate. If I am to point where my neck is broken, I cannot move my hands. That means I can't move hands or legs and I have to be in a respirator. No, just let me go. I don't want to I don't want to live on a respirator that that's not living that's just surviving you know i'm a burden and I, ca I can't be productive i can't be you know a productive member of society i don't want to be here but as long as my body works i want to live so until that day i'm going to fight for every day but when my time comes and there's nothing left to do then i will accept it and i think that is kind of, it's it frees you it frees you from the fear of death. And fear is a very controlling thing. If you have a lot of fear in your life, it, it controls you. And it causes a lot of unhealthy conditions in your body. So 
you know, I, I guess I can say I no longer really fear dying. The process of dying could be a little scary for sure because we don't know how you're going to go. Everybody's going to go. We just don't know when. But um, yeah, I, I actually, there was another instance where I was like, I didn't, wasn't stressed about, you know, knowing, oh, I'm going to die, you know, but I didn't die and everything was fine. So that was interesting. I thought I'd share that with you. Um, and then it's a good place to be, you know, not being afraid of the inevitable death that we all face. So go out there, live life and share your joy with everyone around you.